Welcome to the World Brief. Live Republican Debate 2023 Live, All Eyes on Ron DeSantis as GOP Rivals Meet in Milwaukee. Telegraph. Candidates for the Republican presidential nomination are set to go head-to-head in the first debate of the primary season. The debate, which is being broadcast on Fox News, will be broadcast at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Ron DeSantis, Vivek Ramaswamy and other challengers will be looking to establish themselves as candidates, although frontrunner Donald Trump will not be present. Six other candidates, including the former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley, two-term New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and ex-Vice President Mike Pence will also be jostling for position. They are expected to confront issues including Mr. Trump's indictment on multiple criminal counts. Vladimir Putin's foes who have suffered mysterious fates. The Sydney Morning Herald. The article provides details about several mysterious incidents involving individuals who opposed Russian President Vladimir Putin or his interests. These incidents include the poisoning of opposition leader Alexei Navalny, the poisoning of former double agent Sergei Skripal, the alleged poisoning attempts on opposition activist Vladimir Karamurza, the poisoning and subsequent death of ex-KGB agent Alexander Litvinenko, the sudden death of Russian whistleblower Alexander Parapilikny, the poisoning of Ukrainian opposition leader Viktor Yushchenko, and the murder of journalist Anna Politkovskaya. In each case, Russia has denied involvement. Lars von Trier slammed four Russian lives also matter post. The Independent. Filmmaker Lars von Trier has been condemned by the Ukrainian government for saying Russian lives matter also on social media. In a post on Instagram, the Danish director referred to the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. His comment was retweeted by Oleksiy Danilov, head of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, who criticized von Trier for choosing the side of the executioner. The filmmaker, who has Parkinson's disease and OCD, recently posted a video on Instagram seeking a girlfriend and muse. What is Vivek Ramaswamy's net worth? The Independent. The first debate between the Republican Party's potential presidential nominees in 2024 will take place in Milwaukee this week, but the frontrunner, Donald Trump, will not be participating. Trump's decision not to sign the GOP's loyalty pledge renders him ineligible for the debate. Other contenders, such as Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Mike Pence, are more likely to follow the rules without Trump's presence. However, it remains to be seen whether any candidate will risk alienating Trump's base by criticizing the former president. The candidates will have an opportunity to distinguish themselves and reduce Trump's influence over the party. The article also provides a guide to the personal wealth of the candidates participating in the debate. Notable candidates include Doug Burgum, the governor of North Dakota, with a net worth of $1.1 billion, Chris Christie, the former governor of New Jersey, with a net worth of around $5 million, and Vivek Ramaswamy, the founder of biotech company Royvent Sciences and Strive Asset Management, with a net worth of $630 million. Trump, whose wealth is estimated at around $2.5 billion, has not opened up his personal finances for public scrutiny. Overall, the first Republican debate in 2024 will provide an opportunity for the candidates to differentiate themselves from Trump and appeal to voters. However, Trump's influence and the potential backlash from his base may deter candidates from criticizing him directly. The debate will also shed light on the personal wealth of the candidates and their backgrounds. Appeasing striking consultants would worsen plight of millions, says Health Secretary. Telegraph. UK Health Secretary Steve Barclay has warned that meeting the pay demands of striking hospital consultants would worsen the cost of living crisis for millions of people. Thousands of senior doctors are set to take part in a 48-hour strike in protest over pay, which is expected to cause severe delays for patients seeking treatment. The consultants, who have average NHS earnings of £134,000, have described the government's pay award of 6% as insulting. Barclay argued that the existing award was fair and balanced inflation concerns with the need for consultants to be paid fairly. He warned that increasing the pay award could lead to higher inflation and negatively impact those on lower incomes. The British Medical Association, BMA, has announced plans for further strike action in October, targeting the week of the Conservative Party conference. Strikes by consultants are viewed as particularly damaging, as no one else can stand in for them, leading to the suspension of routine hospital care. The BMA has threatened indefinite strike action in its campaign for increased pay, with junior doctors currently being balloted about walkouts for the next six months. Barclay emphasized that the government's pay award was final and that the BMA's demands were not feasible without affecting frontline patient care. He called for an end to strikes and urged the BMA to work constructively with the government to address non-pay issues. The strike comes as a record 7.6 million people are on waiting lists, 
with more than 400,000 added since Chancellor Rishi Sunak pledged to reduce weights. Wagner boss Prigazin joins list of Putin foes who suffered mysterious fates. South China Morning Post. Yevgeny Prigazin, the chief of the Russian mercenary group Wagner, is believed to have died in a plane crash north of Moscow. Prigazin had led a mutiny against Russia's top army brass in June, which President Vladimir Putin said could have led to civil war. Several individuals who have opposed Putin or his interests have died or experienced near-death incidents under mysterious circumstances, including opposition leader Alexei Navalny, former double agent Sergei Skripal, ex-KGB agent Alexander Litvinenko, Ukrainian opposition leader Viktor Yushchenko, journalist Anna Politkovskaya, and Russian whistleblower Alexander Parapilikny. What is Donald Trump's net worth? The Independent. The first debate between the contenders for the Republican Party's nomination for president in 2024 will take place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on Wednesday evening, without frontrunner Donald Trump. Trump's decision not to sign the GOP's loyalty pledge renders him ineligible, despite his complaints that he should not have to participate due to his lead in the polls. The debate will feature candidates such as Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Mike Pence, who are more likely to adhere to the rules without Trump's presence. However, it remains to be seen whether any of the candidates will dare to criticize Trump and risk alienating his base. So far, only ex-New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has attempted to do so and was ruthlessly teased on Truth Social. What is Tim Scott's net worth? The Independent. The first debate between the Republican Party's presidential nominee contenders for 2024 will take place without frontrunner Donald Trump, who refused to sign the GOP's loyalty pledge. Candidates such as Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Mike Pence will likely adhere to the rules and fall in line without Trump's influence. However, it remains to be seen how many candidates will risk alienating Trump's base by criticizing him. So far, only Chris Christie has attempted to do so and has faced backlash for it. Ahead of the debate, a guide to the personal wealth of the candidates reveals that North Dakota's governor, Doug Burgum, is the second wealthiest state leader, with a net worth of $1.1 billion. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is worth an estimated $5 million, while Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is the least wealthy candidate, with a net worth of $1.17 million. Former South Dakota Governor Nikki Haley has a net worth of $8 million, and former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson is worth an estimated $1.5 million. Former Vice President Mike Pence has a net worth of $4 million, while Vivek Ramaswamy, founder of biotech company Royvent Sciences and the anti-woke index fund provider Strive Asset Management, is worth $630 million. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott has a net worth of $3.88 million. Donald Trump's wealth is estimated at $2.5 billion, down from $3.2 billion in 2022. Woodside and unions avert strike with last-minute deal. The Sydney Morning Herald. Woodside's offshore workforce is set to vote on endorsing a deal that was reached after a 15-hour negotiation. The deal, if approved, will help calm international gas markets. The Offshore Alliance, a union representing workers on three gas platforms off the Pilbara coast, had threatened industrial action if an agreement was not reached. Woodside's offer is seen as a positive step towards securing an industry standard enterprise agreement. If approved, Chevron's Gorgon and Wheatstone projects would be the only gas export projects in Western Australia without an enterprise agreement. What is Asa Hutchinson's net worth? The Independent. The first debate between Republican candidates for the 2024 presidential nomination will take place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, on Wednesday. However, frontrunner Donald Trump will not participate because he has not signed the GOP's loyalty pledge, making him ineligible. The absence of Trump may provide an opportunity for the other candidates to distinguish themselves in front of a national TV audience. The candidates who will participate in the debate include Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Mike Pence, Chris Christie, Doug Burgum, Asa Hutchinson, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Tim Scott. They will have the chance to present their personal wealth to the audience, with brief explanations of how they acquired it. Doug Burgum, the governor of North Dakota, is the second wealthiest state leader with a net worth of $1.1 billion, according to Yahoo Finance. His wealth comes from the sale of his tech business Great Plains Software to Microsoft in 2001. Chris Christie, the former New Jersey governor, is worth an estimated $5 million. Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, is the least wealthy candidate on the stage, with a net worth of $1.17 million. Nikki Haley, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, has a net worth of $8 million. Asa Hutchinson, former Governor of Arkansas, has an estimated net worth of $1.5 million. 
Mike Pence, the former vice president, is currently worth an estimated $4 million. Vivek Ramaswamy, founder of biotech company Royvent Sciences and Strive Asset Management, is worth $630 million. Tim Scott, a senator from South Carolina, has a net worth of $3.88 million. Donald Trump, the former president, has an estimated wealth of $2.5 billion, according to Forbes. What is Nikki Haley's net worth? The Independent. The first Republican Party presidential debate for the 2024 election is set to take place in Milwaukee on Wednesday without former President Donald Trump. Trump's decision not to sign the GOP's loyalty pledge renders him ineligible to participate. The frontrunner has complained that he shouldn't have to take part due to his lead in the polls. The absence of Trump may lead to a more straightforward debate for the other candidates, including Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Mike Pence. However, it remains to be seen whether any of the candidates will dare to criticize the former president and risk alienating his base. The personal wealth of the candidates is another focus of the article. Some of the candidates mentioned include Doug Burgum, the governor of North Dakota, who reportedly has a net worth of $1.1 billion. Burgum made his fortune from the sale of his tech business Great Plains Software to Microsoft. Chris Christie, the former governor of New Jersey, is estimated to be worth around $5 million. He made his wealth as a lawyer and through political positions. Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, has a net worth of $1.17 million, which is relatively modest compared to his predecessor, Rick Scott, who had a net worth of $255 million. Other candidates mentioned include Nikki Haley, Asa Hutchinson, Mike Pence, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Tim Scott. Trump's personal wealth is estimated at around $2.5 billion, but his finances have not been made public, and Forbes' estimate is based on available information. Overall, the article provides an overview of the personal wealth of the Republican candidates participating in the debate and highlights the absence of Donald Trump, the frontrunner, in the event. What is Doug Burgum's net worth? The Independent. The first debate between contenders for the Republican Party's nomination for president in 2024 will take place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, without the frontrunner, Donald Trump. Trump's decision not to sign the GOP's loyalty pledge, a vow to support the eventual winner, renders him ineligible. The debate will be an opportunity for the other candidates to distinguish themselves and gain recognition outside of Trump's influence. Only former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has dared to criticize Trump, but he has faced backlash for doing so. Here is a guide to the personal wealth of the candidates participating in the debate. Doug Burgum, North Dakota's governor has a net worth of $1.1 billion, which comes from the sale of his tech business, Great Plains Software, to Microsoft in 2001. He has since served on the boards of Atlassian and SuccessFactors and founded the Kilbourne Group and Arthur Ventures. Chris Christie, the former New Jersey governor, is worth an estimated $5 million. He served as a partner at a law firm, was the United States Attorney for the District of New Jersey, and served as governor. Christie and Trump were once allies but are now enemies. Ron DeSantis, Florida's governor, who initially promised to pose a serious challenge to Trump, is worth $1.17 million. He earned a significant advance from his publisher for his second book. Nikki Haley, the former South Dakota governor and U.S. ambassador to the United Nations has a net worth of $8 million. She has earned money from speaking engagements, book deals, and serving on the boards of several companies. Asa Hutchinson, the former governor of Arkansas is worth an estimated $1.5 million, with most of his wealth tied up in his house. Mike Pence, the former vice president is worth an estimated $4 million. He has made money from public speaking engagements and book deals. Vivek Ramaswamy, the second richest candidate on the debate stage, Ramaswamy is worth $630 million. He founded the biotech company Royvent Sciences and the anti-woke index fund provider Strive Asset Management. Tim Scott, the South Carolina senator, is worth $3.88 million. He has worked as an insurance agent and financial advisor and started his own insurance company. Donald Trump, the former president's personal wealth is estimated at around $2.5 billion. However, his finances have not been fully disclosed, and there is speculation about his actual net worth. NVIDIA profits surge 843 PC in AI boom. Telegraph. NVIDIA, the Silicon Valley chipmaker, has reported an 843% increase in net profit to $6.2 billion in the three months to July 30, up from $656 million in the same period last year. The company is benefiting from growing demand for processors that power AI technology. However, the US is considering further restrictions on NVIDIA's microchips to China, 
as AI technology becomes a hotly contested commodity among global superpowers. NVIDIA doubled year-on-year -year sales to $13.5 billion in Q2 2023 and shares surged by nearly 10% after the company raised its sales forecast for the current quarter to $16 billion. What is Chris Christie's net worth? The Independent. The first debate between the contenders for the Republican Party's presidential nomination in 2024 will take place on Wednesday, but without Donald Trump. Trump's decision not to sign the GOP's loyalty pledge makes him ineligible to participate. The debate will feature candidates such as Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Mike Pence, who may be more likely to adhere to the rules without Trump's presence. However, it remains to be seen whether any of the candidates will risk alienating Trump's base by criticizing the former president. So far, only Chris Christie has attempted to do so and has faced backlash on Truth Social, Trump's social media platform. The article provides a guide to the personal wealth of the candidates participating in the debate. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, whose fortune comes from the sale of his tech business, has a reported net worth of $1.1 billion. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is worth an estimated $5 million, while Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has a net worth of $1.17 million. Former South Dakota Governor and U.S. Ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley is worth $8 million, and former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson has an estimated net worth of $1.5 million. Former Vice President Mike Pence has quadrupled his fortune since leaving office and is currently worth an estimated $4 million. Vivek Ramaswamy, the second richest candidate, has a net worth of $630 million. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is worth $3.88 million. Donald Trump's wealth is estimated at around $2.5 billion, down from $3.2 billion in 2022. While Trump's wealth is the most discussed among the candidates, his personal finances remain somewhat of a mystery. Forbes has estimated his wealth at around $2.5 billion, but Trump has refused to open up his personal finances for public scrutiny. Trump inherited an estimated $40 million from his father and owns real estate and golf clubs in the US and abroad. However, his social media platform, Truth Social, has dropped in value by around $550 million. What is Mike Pence's net worth? The Independent. The first debate among the Republican candidates for the 2024 presidential nomination will take place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, without frontrunner Donald Trump, who refused to sign the GOP's loyalty pledge. The debate will give candidates such as Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Mike Pence an opportunity to distinguish themselves and present their policies to a primetime TV audience. While it remains to be seen if any candidates will criticize Trump and risk alienating his base, Chris Christie has already faced backlash on Truth Social for doing so. The article provides an overview of the personal wealth of the participating candidates. Doug Burgum, the governor of North Dakota, has a net worth of $1.1 billion, largely derived from the sale of his tech business Great Plains Software to Microsoft. Chris Christie, the former governor of New Jersey, is worth an estimated $5 million. Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, has a net worth of $1.17 million. Nikki Haley, the former governor of South Dakota and U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, has a net worth of $8 million. Asa Hutchinson, the former governor of Arkansas, is worth an estimated $1.5 million. Mike Pence, the former vice president, has a net worth of $4 million. Vivek Ramaswamy, a biotech company founder, is worth $630 million. And Tim Scott, a senator from South Carolina, has a net worth of $3.88 million. Lastly, the article mentions that Donald Trump's personal wealth is estimated to be around $2.5 billion, although he has refused to disclose his finances. Trump inherited an estimated $40 million from his father and owns real estate and golf clubs through his company, the Trump Organization. His social media platform, Truth Social, was once valued at $730 million but has since dropped in value.